moving on and turning now to the growing pressure on Michigan State University President Luanna Simon after the sexual assault prosecution of Dr. Larry Nasser. The university did their own internal investigation into the complaints of years of suspected abuse of athletes at the hands of Nasser, but the report of that investigation won't be made public. By the way, there never was a written report because the lawyer who did it said the only person who did anything wrong was Nasser. A Lansing newspaper has called for Simon to step down. A few state legislators say they should start their own investigation. First off, the Nasser case has been front and center for years now. Why the call for resignation now? I'm going to start with you on this, Nolan. Well, because there's, as this case now has, as the investigation, we know has proceeded. We know what Larry Nasser done. We know the horrors that were committed there. Uh, it's just natural to call for more transparency. You should want to know, the university trustees should want to know who else knew about um, what was going on, on on that campus and with those gymnasts and other female athletes. You have some of these girls saying, we told our coach, and indeed the university forced the coach to retire without ever acknowledging that she did anything wrong. The doctor, um, this Dean Stemple, who sent a note to Nasser saying, you know, you've got to change your tactics. He had to know, and yet Patrick Fitzgerald said everybody was fooled. Nobody knew. And who pays a million dollars for an investigation and doesn't get a written report? This smells of a cover-up. I don't have. There's no indication that Fitzgerald ever interviewed a gymnast, ever interviewed a victim. I mean, this was a half butted investigation aimed to produce the results it produced. There is there's is a complete lack of transparency there, and this is belongs in Luana Simon's lap because they're covering up. I think it's, it's very, um, it's very upsetting to hear that there was an investigation, but you cannot, there's no proof of that investigation. Just take our word for it. Yeah. Um, everyone was good here, um, you know, move, move along. What can Michigan State do right now to reestablish some kind of trust uh, with the community? Or, I mean, they're, they're at a point now where it, it looks like they're in a tough position. Yeah, I think they're in a terribly tough position because people are starting to ask real questions about what happened, what the response was. People want some timelines put together in terms of who knew what and when and what the response was. And, and they're comparing and, it to Penn State. And they're comparing to Penn uh, that's, Where there was that's a grand what the real danger is, is that if this blows up like the scandal at Penn State, and some people think it will. I, t I had How a conversation with, uh, with someone this week who covered that scandal and said, that the main difference at this point is the gender of the victims. That that uh, and it was not boys, football. Uh, and it's not football. It was boys at Penn State. It's women here. Uh, that is one of the reasons it hasn't quite caught on. But once it does, I mean, you're talking about more than a hundred victims. I mean, this is a any of the, li the liability of the university, the liability and when the potential the payout. And in now this it's situation. starting to touch the gubernatorial race. Yeah. The report today that Gretchen Whitmer, when she was acting. Uh, uh, the Ingham County prosecutor. prosecutor, acting prosecutor. They brought this, and she said, "Well, we can't prove the abuse, but we'll we'll get him on um, child pornography." And Bill Shooty, why isn't Bill Shooty called yeah. for a grand jury? And you I have mean, you have also people who are calling for investigations who are now running for attorney general of the state mm -hmm. of Michigan sure, as, as they well. Should. So, so do you believe it's getting a little politicized, or you believe that this is uh, completely uh, well within well it's within get, the realm? It's going to get politicized, but. If that helps drive transparency at MSU, they are covering up. And this is a public institution that shouldn't be allowed and, to and cover here's up. Here's the other thing mm -hmm. I think that, that is hurting them at this point. Uh, we haven't heard Luanna Simon come out and give an extended uh, explanation. Or apology. This, or apology. Well, I mean, uh, even before you get to the apology, I think she owes uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the people of this state a, a real extended deep dive into here's what happened, here's when we knew what happened, here's how we responded. That, they aren't doing that. They keep saying, well, we, we took care of this and don't worry about it. And I don't know that that's going to wash no. much longer. Because mm -hmm. uh, well, no, there's 144 lawsuits yeah. and Michigan State, you know, is desperate to settle those lawsuits so, it, so their officials don't have to go into courtroom and, and, and swear about under oath stuff. about what they knew. So if they settle them for anywhere near what those Penn States uh, cases were, which were 33 million each. Uh, that's almost a half a billion dollars. Where does that money just come from? in settlement? Where does that money come from? And will Michigan State now try to try to dump some of these stu suits, dump off some of these girls who are mm -hmm. suing them mm -hmm. on statute of limitations grounds? That would be extraordinarily sleazy, yeah. given that the administration covered this up. Right. All right, we're going to have to keep watching this one.